it's the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. All that and more coming up next. U.S. Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. This drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book He's an asset to have in any offense. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Holding offense. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Back to throw. Williams. And his throw here is incomplete. Barton I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up the man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. Second and 20. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Operating from the gun, Williams. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. 
I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw, Williams. And for the right sideline is complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 25 yards that time. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Kari Blassen game. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here come the Vikings as they get set for their first drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Throwing to start the drive, McCarthy. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Off play action, McCarthy, and he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? It's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. Jones on the return. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. 
And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And they run the option on second down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. So from the 26 yard line, here's second and a yard. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now Williams throwing on first down. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and eight coming from the 19. Blitz forthcoming as he'll look to throw. And again back to Komet. So the completion good for six yards. And now that sets up third and two. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. 
Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six. Back to throw. Williams. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Yes, yeah, real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. The offense on third down tonight, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 14. Looking to throw. Williams. And that is incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down. But on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Balled it to 26. Second and seven. Again, it's Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, McCarthy. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. On first down, McCarthy. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. Demarcus Walker able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. He saw the pressure and he got out, but he never got upfield. And the defense, they took full advantage of a rookie mistake there. They were able to add a big loss on the sack. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. to throw on second down. McCarthy out of the backfield. This is Aaron Jones. 
The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Williams throwing to start the drive. He finds his target, Allen, and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He'll fire deep looking for more. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and 10. to throw again Williams and he can't escape and down he goes now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half an extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down Allen, the man in motion left. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, but instead, here's Swift. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now a timeout called for by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here comes the Bears punter now. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. And this will be taken at the 13. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime with the visiting Bears out on top here. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football 
the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. Operating from the gun, McCarthy. Another one on this play for Justin Jefferson. Loose inside the 30, inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run, 74 yards. A oh, big time credit, what a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Jones. Going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Off the play fake, McCarthy, and he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack, but the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Aaron Jones, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut it to three and 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
The Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try to make sure that, that momentum stays in your camp. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Holding offense. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you could have at that position, and sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Williams now to throw on second down. Caught by Allen. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. To throw on third down. Williams. Work in the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Williams on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. The first down screen pass, good for five. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's a second and five. On the option to give to Swift here. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 41. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got some space here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 72 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now Williams off the bootleg. Complete. This is Lewis. And the nimble footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. On second down, Swift. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close.
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. They converted twice on third down. That drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Williams. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. From four yards out. And the Bears get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. To the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away taken at the goal line and he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision loses him about four yards and now out comes Minnesota well, that last touchdown we just saw what an important one now it's back to a two score deficit for this crew as they take the field here and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone Throwing on first down, McCarthy. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he's going to be brought down right there after the catch at the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Finds his man. There's Jordan Addison. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Completes Addison on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, 
but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And they're going to speed things up here to throw on second down. McCarthy. A check down here to Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, McCarthy to the end zone, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. There's Hawkinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Vikings have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Pulling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Now an option play on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A solid gain of seven yards that time on the keeper and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and five. Here's a handoff to Swift. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he is going to lose yardage here. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to swell the lead to six. Santos' kick is up and through, and they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Kenny Nwongu. Oh, he doesn't quite make it down at the one yard line. As close as he could possibly get, but still, what a return. And partner, not only is he kicking himself right now, He's going to petition the league for 99-yard fields. That's almost not fair to get it that far and not get into the end zone. Nevertheless, a great return. Here's first and goal. They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. And they're an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final minute. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point. And then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Now the try here for the point after. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. 
So now the Bears down 21-20, 43 seconds to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Back to throw. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. Second down, eight yards to go. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Here we go, first and goal. He'll look to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, he'll Swift. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Well, that is the definition, Charles, of delivering under pressure. The game-winning potential. There's still a little time left on the clock, but the potential game-winning drive, and it was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games, but how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Barring some type of miraculous play in this last half minute, I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now it's the Vikings' turn, trailing by a touchdown. 20 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. He's back to throw. That's yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. They'll try again here, second and ten.
A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Throw out wide is incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Minneapolis, good night, everybody.